Okay. Yeah. So I think having industry experience is huge. So, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of learning how to like handle yourself professionally, um, how to deal with clients. And so, you know, as an individual trying to make your way into the corporate world, there's so many things that you don't know that you just, you, you kind of learn as you go. And there's a lot, there would be a lot of stumbling, a lot of, um, and so being, you know, it being interjected into that environment, you know, you, you're part of, uh, you know, a company where it, with all the systems already in place, you know, so you, you can kind of see how something functions um, the way that it should, or, you know, ideally the way that it should. So, I mean, just, just the opportunity of like seeing how uh, project managers talk with clients, you know, there, there'd be so many times where like you, you don't want to necessarily put like the artist on the phone or like in the <laughs> Zoom meeting with the client because they don't know how to talk to people, you know, um, they don't know. I'm they, good they with people. To... <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the the ability to to like understand you know how how to hold handle yourself professionally how to talk you know the types of things you should say or not say and you should say to clients um, <laughs> just being in that environment and just seeing how that all functions over the years yeah or not saying absolutely um, was huge for me um, and not that I not that since I've made that transition I've had to deal with any huge you know big name clients I mean that maybe on the horizon you know that's the end goal but um, mm-hmm. so far most of my most of my experience has been with the exception of um, one job has been with, you know, kind of smaller, but all the same. I think that that's valuable experience to have. Um, I think a, a big part of that to answer your question. So like, should you go the corporate or studio route first? I think a lot of that depends on ultimately on like what you want to do. Like where, where is it that you want to go with your artistic career? I mean, if, if you just want to, you know, keep your head down and do your thing and do something artistic and you're you're okay with that like you know if, if the idea of just being like a cog in a big wheel sounds appealing to you then you know i'll go for it but um i do think that there's a lot to be said of to have that creative freedom but again it just depends it depends on so many things it depends on your financial situation it depends on your background it depends on your current skill level you know how much work you've invested how much time you've invested um you know, so there's some people, you know, that just pick up a Wacom tablet and they're like, do you think that I'm ready for commissions? And, I'm, you know, it's mm-hmm. um, I think and to some degree, people, you know, there there has to be a, a period of you know time where you study and grow and get to a certain level professionally before you are prepared um, to em- embark on that journey on your own. But a, a nice thing about the studio environment is, you know, you'll you'll often get people coming in at entry levels. Um, maybe straight out of school or, you know, if they haven't taken school that are still kind of beginning and they can be kind of put into that op- opportunity where they can learn and grow. And um, so, yeah, I, I would say maybe not necessarily like my drawing and painting skills, but there's so many things about uh, like creating on the computer that I learned, you know, just, you know, things about Photoshop and all that, that I, you know, I, I never would have learned on my own. So I know that's not like a. Thanks for listening to this clip. You can see the full interview by clicking the link in the description, or you can click the thumbnail on the bottom left of this video. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Have a great day.